Hi and welcome back to Normski TV, another transfer daily, looking at all things Arsenal with incoming and outgoings and bringing it to you um, in the nice evening. And uh, right, let's quickly uh, get started because uh, I've got another meeting to go to. So I'm just going to just quickly talk about a couple of um, transfer. First of all, I want to talk about Lucas Torreira. Um, it seems like a number of clubs are interested um, in this player namely Torino, we know, are interested in him because they, they're trying to sort out a loan deal with him. Um, obviously, they're still haggling over the deal and what they feel uh, they should get out of it. Arsenal would prefer to have straight cash, but at the moment, um, nothing has sort of surfaced yet. Um, now, it seems like AC Milan have now entered into the race um, and uh, we've got a number of clubs, Roma, Florentina, a number of clubs that are interested. Now, the thing is, that is good for us because it means that Arsenal, um, there's a possibility that we could um, start a bidding war and possibly drive up his, his, his price or his fee. I hope that does happen because we do need that kind of cash to go towards our, you know, our, our first choice targets. Um, let's see what happens. But just quickly read, I'm just going to quickly read the quotes um, where it says here, uh, Gil, I can't pronounce the name, it's an Italian name, Gia Luca Di Mazio told Sky Italia um, that um, AC, Mil um, AC Milan um, have made an inquiry about Lucas Torreira and uh, they're keen for him to come back to Italy. And it's going according to an update from calmoreto.com, Torreira is Torino's number one target for the midfield. The former Sampdoria man has been specifically requested by Marco Gia Paolo, who knows him well after working with him before. Um, Torreira is also followed with, um, followed with interest by Roma and Milan. The outlet adds that, but Torino technical direct, director David Vangati does not seem to be worried about the competition. He has already uh, collected the approval of the player who would gladly return to work with Gio Paolo and is now seeking an agreement with Arsenal. So at the moment, there's still talks with regards to Arsenal and Torino, but AC Milan have actually entered the race as well. Now, saying all of that, um, Twitter has gone a bit crazy. Arsenal uh, fans have gone a bit crazy because apparently um, uh, Simeone has been in contact Apparently, this is what they're saying, that Simeone has been in contact with um, um, Lucas Ferreira and that the fans are saying that the, the deal is, is on, um, even though Atletico Madrid want um, the, them Arsenal to meet the buyout clause. But at the moment, um, you know, Arsenal don't have the money. Now, if this is true, um, this is from football.london and uh, just let me just read it here. It goes... Arsenal fans are reacting on social media to reports of Atletico Madrid being interested in signing Lucas Torreira. And according to Sports 890, a publication in Uruguay, Diego Simeone has called the Gunners midfield to tell him that he's wanted in the Spanish capital before the, the summer transfer window shuts next month. Now, look, if that happens, that's going to be brilliant news. That's going to be absolutely brilliant news because it means that there may be some sort of negotiation with regards to the Thomas party. Is there a possibility that there could be a, a, a swap, maybe cash plus uh, player with regards to that? Will um, Atletico Madrid um, sort of, um, you know, be relaxed on that? Or will they still want the full 45 million, whatever it is that um, they're going to be paying for him? Um, you know, it's going a bit crazy. If it's true, we are, we're only going to, it's only going to, it's, it's only going to, the momentum of this is just going to be picked up. Now, if it's true, then what do you think, guys? Do you think we can do a swap deal um, with 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 um, Atletico Madrid for Thomas Party, or do you think that this is just purely fake news? Um, I don't know what to believe. Uh, you know, we're just taking so long when it comes to Thomas Party and 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 Usamoa. You know, it's it's really kind of driving me nuts right now. You know, you're looking at all the other teams. Thiago now is signed for Liverpool. Um, you know, you've got Gareth Bell going to Tottenham, as I said. Guys, we've got to do something. We've got to do something and do it really quick. Um, let's um, look at what um, Usama Wara um, is not actually saying, but what the Leon president is saying. Um, 
Apparently, he's having a little dig at Arsenal, basically saying that we can't really afford him. There hasn't been any real um, offers um, for the 22-year-old and they don't expect um, him to leave this summer. You know, they value him at about £44 million. Um, Arsenal, obviously, in Arteta's press conference before the West Ham game, he was saying that we need to get to sell players in order to go for our targets, a balance of the teammate. He didn't say in so many words that you're going to be going, to be going for Thomas Party or Osama Wire, but we kind of, if you read between the lines, that's what we need to do is be trying to get rid of these players. Um, and it's going to, it's still a tough ask at the moment. Um, if we can get some sort of money for um, Lucas Torreira, that would be actually brilliant news. If Atletico Madrid are in the equation and they're saying that they want him, Maybe some deal could be struck between Atletico Madrid and Arsenal. Again, could be pipe dreams right now. But this is um, what's being said on the media. Um, being very quick here. Uh, just with regards to um, announcement, um, the goalkeeper, um, he's due to, if it hasn't had his medical, um, Arsenal have come out, um, Arteta has come out and said that there will be an announcement soon with regards to um, the uh, Icelandic goalkeeper, um, uh, Runa, Alex Runnison. Um Looks like we're going to get him for about one and a half million. Whether he's going to be our number two, that's another question. He was asked uh, um, about David Raya from um, Brentford and he wasn't really going to, he, was, he didn't really want to open up much on it. But I still think that they're trying to pursue that deal. Um, you know, they've offered 10 million and Brentford have knocked that back. I think Brentford want around about 15 million, but also want him to be loaned back to them. You know, they are driving a hard bargain right now. Again, I don't know what's going to happen there. Let's see what happens there concerning that. I'm just going to see if there's anything else. Nothing else really to, to say concerning Arsenal. Um, obviously, as... The, the you know news develops you know be checking it out and we'll see what's what's happening and then we'll, you know we'll, we'll take it from there but yeah um things are it's it's difficult it's it's difficult at the moment you know because the players are not moving out quick enough and because of that um it's 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 getting quite frustrating but we've got now eighteen seventeen to eighteen days left before the window closes um just 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 over three weeks so. Uh, well, under three, which should I say? Um, let's hope that something does get done and uh, I'll be bringing some sort of good news come tomorrow. Listen, please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you on the next Transfer Daily.